Hello everyone, today is Thursday, June 15th, 2023 at 12.42 p.m. in the afternoon. I woke up 30 minutes ago, 12.12. Well, I probably woke up earlier than that, but, you know, was lingering in the bed for a while and then got up at 12.12. Well, um, they vibrated my body all night long last night. Very bad. Enough that, oh, what, y'all trying to manipulate me to have to be forced to sleep outside or something? So a lot of so-called shielding techniques, not all of them, but a lot of shielding techniques. Well, one, I don't have enough money for you know, these so-called shielding techniques. And another, I have to be careful because the majority or a lot of the shielding techniques that y'all, um, that y'all push out or, um, advertise or whatever is, um, new age. So, um, I mean, so, I mean, I got to be careful with that. But, um, so I, I, um, as I said, I got my $910 for Social Security for this month, but they didn't give me the $24 SSI. And, um, I don't know if I said it on TikTok, but I said it on YouTube. So I kept forgetting to say it in TikTok videos. That, um, yeah, they didn't give me my SSI check for this month. But I know $24 isn't a lot. But, um, you know, I have $5.15 in the bank. And also, um, well, I don't count the extra $5 that was used to open the account that you have to keep at least $5. Otherwise it would have been $10 and 15 cents, but I don't count that other $5. I never do because I forget that I have it. And then, you know, that's $5. I have to keep in a savings account that I can't even use or touch because that's used just to keep the account open. So I don't even count that $5. So um, it's $5 I can't even touch or use. You know, I have to keep that in order to, but otherwise, you know, I say I just, you know, have $5.15 in the bank. And I think I have maybe, I think I have um, maybe $15. And this is, seem like this is all I have to stretch me for the rest of the month. So me being an author, you know, me putting out ebooks on Amazon, if I put out an ebook today, I won't get any royalties until like two months later. And it's not even guaranteed that the book will sell because, but it's guaranteed to not sell because of the online gang stalkers writing false bad reviews on all of my ebooks or everything I write. Every single last one of them or almost every one of them. So, um, they even feel like my f fiction short stories or, or whatever that I would write, they feel like it's a threat to them. They feel threatened. I'm like, why? Because you know that they're, they will have some hints at truth in the, even the fiction short stories, huh? So, um, well, I don't know why I would, other than them vibrating me, vibrating the shit out of me all night, um, I don't know why I um with them vibrating me so bad. I don't I don't know why. I mean, you know, like when I first try to go to sleep, I first try to go to sleep and um they and it's like my my mind and my body tricked me for the for at least a good hour, tricked me into thinking that I was gonna sleep like a baby and sleep so well or sleep like a log. And nah, I was I could not sleep until um, almost 5 o'clock in the morning. 
And then I woke up at 8 o'clock, was still tired and sleepy, of course, and then slept some more and then woke up at um, a little bit after noon and still feeling the sleep-deprived, tired feeling. Feeling like as if I got just very little sleep or almost no sleep. So, um... So, the fake Darnell Williams perp was harassing the shit out of me last night for nothing. Unprovoked, for no reason, on YouTube. And, um... You know... So, I felt mild, mild. I didn't take the, the healing gravy yet last night, but I uh, took the bentonite clay, but um, I had the mild vertigo and extremely mild nausea. But I'm like, well, all I need is to get me some sleep and I'll feel better. So... It, like right before I came on the video, they had on TikTok, um, it showed up on my For You page about this black lady that um, she keeps on trying to make a, like I don't even know if her daughter is a targeted individual. But the daughter, her and her daughter both popular and well liked or whatever or have a lot of TikTok followers like thousands but the mom keeps saying that the daughter is so-called mentally ill and on drugs and begging and scamming for money and the and the and the, and the daughter supposedly lost her kids or something and so um you know if you're trying to say that i mean you don't even want your daughter to get real like support from anybody i mean i don't even know i mean i know that i know not to say that feel like, oh yeah, the daughter mentally ill or she's schizophrenic or, or she bipolar or whatever. Because I know the agenda and I know the system and I'm, you know, also in the works for um, trying to publish, publish an ebook about just like the foster care abuse I'm working on. Um, I'm working on publishing an ebook on, um, I'm working on publishing an ebook on, um, mental health the mental the truth about mental health and stuff like that you know and i wanted to work on a, a big non-fiction ebook called the psych world you know about how everything in this world is just fake uh, um and i also want to work on some some fiction ebooks and novels and more short stories and everything so um so it's like Y'all know it's common knowledge that my own twin sister would get on YouTube and and probably other social media, and she brainwashed even other so-called targeted individuals to um, believe her lies and turn against me, you know, <clears throat> and join in on the bullying campaign. And y'all call y'all selves real TIs, saying that y'all hate being slandered, y'all hate the torture, y'all hate what y'all go through, but y'all turn around and do the same thing to me, hypocritically. And y'all the popular fake paid TIs that's sold out. You know, y'all sold out and you're running around here lying and saying your soul was not for sale. It ain't for sale because you already sold it, motherfucker. That's what it is. And if the Bible say, you know, you will know them by their fruits. Yeah, they're producing fruits of somebody that sold out or, or they got... You know, they're, they're displaying bad works, evil works or bad, you know, deeds that show people, I mean, that show that um that they sold out. And then they become abusive and narcissistic after selling out when they weren't abusive or narcissistic or controlling before then. Or, or manipulative or whatever. And then they live for lying, like... They change. They really change their demeanor, change their characters. Like something took over them, and they ain't the same no more. You know, after they sold out, and so um, I'm very hated because they're trying to beat me into submission, and I don't want to join them. And I say I will never join a cult ever again, a day in my life, because I was forced into that in foster care, 
and never again 